Well, foam material is actually used in lots of applications and originally it was designed about 50 odd years ago for flat packaging. So it's really good at absorbing flat surface impacts. And the problem is that our heads are curved, it's not flat. So the actual properties of energy absorption change quite significantly, going from a curved surface like our head shape compared with a flat surface like packaging. And the limitations of foam have been proven sort of in scientific journals that they're only about 30% efficient at absorbing energy. Well, custom fit is, what we mean by that is the contours of the helmet are designed to match your head shape sort of perfectly. And we know that the tolerances there are sort of within one to 1.5 millimeters. So it's incredibly accurate for it to feel like actually it's really fitting your head shape correctly. So by knowing your head shape, we can maximize the amount of thickness required um, to absorb more energy. And the other thing as well, is that if you look at motorbike helmets as an example, 13% of motorbike helmets actually come off the head during impact, which is super, super significant. So actually making a helmet that's really fit for your head shape should also prevent the helmet from just flying off on an impact. Well, we've developed our own technology that we know is performing or outperforming the typical MIPS systems in foam helmets. And fundamentally, if you look at what the MIP system is doing, it's allowing the head to slide about one to one and a half centimeters, which is about this, this much. Whereas on our system, the shell is able to eject and the honeycomb can shear, which foam materials can't really do. So it's this combination of technologies that's really pushing the Hexa helmet to a league above the typical MIP systems. There's a combination of things. One is at the glancing impact, the shell actually detaches. So that sliding effect is, um, does it similar to MIPS, but it offers, it ejects from the helmet and it offers um, a slip plane. So instead of your head twisting, the head slides on those oblique impacts. But it's also the combination of that with the fact that the honeycomb is really good at shearing. So the shearing strain of foam is very, very, very high. Um, whereas the shearing sort of stiffness of this honeycomb structure is much lower, uh, which means that it can sort of not only bend and buckle, but it can break in plane, which also reduces that rotational force um, to your head. So what does breakthrough safety actually mean? Well, we use it quite a lot as a statement, and it's supposed to describe the fact that Hexa Helmet, in terms of safety, is in a league above every other helmet really on the market. And this is including the MIP system that's supposed to reduce the rotational forces to the brain. And what we've actually found is that on an independent testing method, which is basically the MIPS testing method, the Hexa helmet is able to reduce the likelihood of concussion by 30%, which is absolutely massive. Whereas MIPS helmets typically reduce the concussion by 10, you know, five, 10, 15%. So this is a significant improvement.